Thanks for checking out this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe. And then. It's time. At long last. It's Piper's Pit. Jesse Ventura's out there. Jesse promises his man will be there. Where's yours? Piper, of course, now called out. Waste no time. Here is Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan comes out. Looking worried. A little bit. Hogan's looking a little worried, he, like, he, what the fuck's going on he's here? He's un unsure this whole thing. So Jesse is giving a huge introduction to Andre. May I present 15 years undefeated, 18 feet tall, 8th wonder of the world. And as he's announcing this, Andre enters Piper Spit, but he is not alone. He is, in fact, led by Bobby the Brain Heenan. To say the least, this segment escalated quickly. Even Jesse, who one would think was in on the whole thing, even he says, I bring you Andre, whoa, when he sees Bobby Heenan. The crowd hushes. Stunned silence in wherever the fuck this was. And Hulk's immediately heartbroken. What are you doing with him here with him? You can't be here with him. Don't you know what he has done to me to these people since he's been gone? You can't be here with him. He's wailing. He's ranting. Since day one, you're the reason I got into pro wrestling. You were like a god to me, a role model. You can't be here with him. You took me from nothing to the world title. You taught me about respect for the fans, the kids. You taught me about good sportsmanship. What are you doing here with this guy? And then Heenan cuts his promo. He's sick and tired of what you stand for. For three years as world champion, you used this man. You're the vermin who made this man and used this man. They gave him a trophy, a smaller one than yours. You had to steal his moment. He's undefeated for 15 years. Hogan's screaming. He's practically crying. Hina goes, did you ever offer him a title match? And Hogan says, it's not happening. No. And he says, Andre, even though you came out with him, you don't have to leave with him and he puts his hands like on andre like you don't have to leave with him and andre says take your hands off my shoulders he says look at me when i'm talking with you i'm here for one reason challenge you for a world championship match at wrestlemania and hogan says no we're friends and andre grabs his shirt and he tears his shirt off and the cross. And Hogan drops to his knees. And Andre starts walking off. And the best part of this was actually, I'm pretty sure, not even planned. But when Andre rips the shirt and the cross off, he must have had long fingernails. Fucking slices Hogan right down the middle. Hogan's bleeding. And Roddy Piper, Hogan's on his knees. Ah! And Roddy Piper walks up and he goes, You're bleeding. Bleeding Jesus. <laughs> they go to break. I was like, that was the greatest fucking thing I ever saw. It's incredible. The whole thing is just And you know what's incredible. even more incredible? Like, this was a good angle, okay? I can't say it was, like, great. I can. I mean, I mean, it was great for what it was. But, I mean, as far as, like, it was, I'd say it was good. What was actually great was when it was over, they had two more matches. And... They didn't pay any attention to Adrian Adonis and Mario Mancini. They paid no attention to Iron Mike Sharp and Steve Lombardi versus Rick Martell and Tom Zeg, even though the fans fucking love that match. Mm -hmm. Bobby Heenan comes back, and he is... I don't give a fuck about Marvel or all of these bullshit superhero movies that I don't give a shit about nowadays. The greatest villain ever... Bobby the Brain Heenan. He is so happy. He is so happy to have fucked the Hulkster with his giant, unbeatable, 15-year undefeated, eighth wonder of the world, Andre the Giant. And Gorilla can't believe it. And Bobby is just... He's never been so happy. I told you the whole time. You didn't believe me. This guy, he's just going over the whole thing. This trophy, this pathetic small trophy given to Andre the Giant. And then, you know, he's he's going over everything that's true. Then he starts to lie. He says, Hogan stole the spotlight. And he laughed at him behind his back. And he called him a freak. And Gorilla's screaming, you're a liar! 
I was like, this is the greatest. Heenan is just needling him for 10 minutes, and he's trolling the fans, and he's putting over Andre, and he is reveling in the doom of Hulk Hogan. I was like, he's the greatest. He's the fucking greatest of all time. This was Heenan's defining, shining spotlight moment, and he sold 78,000 tickets in about 20 minutes. God, he was great. The best thing about it is the angle is so very simple. There's some jealousy there, obviously, and they exploited Hogan, and one guy just turned heel while he was gone and got a heel manager and became the biggest heel in the company. In the in world! One night. In the world. Bro, they announced WrestleMania seven weeks in advance. Yeah. 78,000 fucking tickets in seven weeks. Back when it wasn't... Oh, it's two nights of WrestleMania with five days of fucking crazy shit to do. It was one show on one day in one building in fucking Michigan. In, 78,000 <laughs> people bought tickets because of this. It's one of the greatest angles of all time. Has to be. You know, for a show that's put together uh, piecemeal, like challenges where you have like some matches and you have Gorilla, like, here's something that might interest you. Here's something of special interest. And they got to something else. I'll never stop making They me still put together a semblance of where these people are. So at the end of the demolition, S.C. Jones and John Drigger's match, Bobby Heenan's like, uh, I got to go. Where are you going? Uh, I'll tell you later. And the next thing you know... I didn't even catch that. Yeah, he pops didn't, up didn't on... Didn't even notice that. I tuned out. Yeah. He pops up on uh, Hogan and Andre, and then sure enough, he's back talking to Gorilla. Like They still put together the whole storyline throughout, not just the one piece, but it's all sandwiched together, and it was great. So this was... You call this the performance of Bobby Heenan's career, and it may have been. I would argue it's also the performance of Hulk Hogan's career. Mm -hmm. Because... Think of every Hulk Hogan promo you ever saw, and he's not like that here at all. He's so vulnerable. He's so heartbroken. He's still so willing to forgive. You don't have to leave with him, he says, as he puts his hand on the giant. And Andre was great just standing there. Oh, yeah. He didn't want to hear any of this shit. Absolutely heartless. I don't give a fuck what this guy says. I'm, I'm, I'm going to kill him. I want my fucking title. He yeah. thinks he's so great. I'll teach him who's great. And the the line when uh, Heenan is talking about how you used this man for three years, you never called him to offer him a title shot. Hogan screams, no, you're wrong, you're wrong. When I won, he poured the champagne over my head. Oh, so perfect, so perfect. And Piper was great because, you know, he's got history with both these guys, mostly bad, but he still acknowledges Hulk Hogan's the Hulkster. And that right after he gets his very, just very soft, you're bleeding, says that. He just grabs him by the arm. You're still, goddamn it, you're still fucking Hulk Hogan. You're the champion. You need to stand up. Come on, he says. He pulls him up to his feet. And Hulk did eventually walk out. It was quite great. Uh, I Like, knowing it was coming and having seen it 700 times, it's still marvelous to behold. I yeah. like that uh, painting of uh, Roddy Piper that's behind him on the paper, Piper's pit that looks like it was taken that day of him <laughs> holding the mic exactly <laughs> like he's holding the mic right now. Hmm. It was a very naked gun moment. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that notify button and you'll never miss a video again.